I remember losing to Swindon at Swindon just before Christmas. I think we were top or second, you know, in that top three. And we got we got we got heavily beat at Swindon. I think it was like um it was five nil, wasn't it? Now. Pardon, yeah, I think I'd been in our first defeat in like in eleven games or something. And you're thinking, right, if the club's gonna really do something, you know, that could have been the time to do it in that January window and, and, not, and nothing really could happen. Um, I think we just missed out on the playoffs at the end of that season then, didn't we? Then obviously the season after, that's when it was all just an utter mess because obviously there was no investment really going in and things were just tight. And you knew things were going tight because just because you couldn't get certain things for training, you, you know, uh, no money to... Do, do, do you know keep keep the training ground maintained? You know um, the groundsman at the time. I can't think he was the name. God, he's been there for years. He did great, and obviously Andy, who was the, the main ground, who's sadly not with us. Like, but you know, you, you, as soon as you see things like that happening on that side, you you know you you're going to be in trouble. And you know they're cutting the playing budget, which which is it does happen but but you still have to have a chance I mean League One was a tough league because you had your let's you know at the time when I was there you had Leicester City Nottingham Forest Wolverhampton Wanderers Sheffield United Sheffield Wednesday you know and uh, some big teams Bournemouth you know Bournemouth there and obviously Berry were you know were, were flying at the time as well you know they, they, trying to compete of all them so when you mention League One well, I think Carlisle have had it at the same time start of the season mentioned League One People expect this type of money, but you know, which because the top boys get it, you know, and we we played Derby the weekend and you know, you've seen what, what they turn up with, and you know, it the, it does make a difference because you know, people are gonna go for where the best package is. And 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 that's I get that. But like at Tramia didn't seem to have a fair chance like of it all because it was just cut, 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 cut. There's only so much cloth you can keep cutting and that was happening there, you know, because we, we lost Lowy to Blackburn, obviously Kevin left, Johnny Mack comes in, who, who was superb and enthusiastic, worked his socks off, really good coach, you know, and, uh, you know, and not replacing staff, medical staff and stuff like that and you you, you you know, so it was, it was always it was always going to be a tough season. Then we just knew it was going to be tough. That twenty twelve thirteen season, I think, is probably one that causes the most frustration amongst Tramway fans and the people involved in. Because I've spoke to so many people who played and were part of the the squad that year, and they were top, weren't they? Up until pretty much yeah. early February, there was the two one yeah. win down at Brentford, where famously that video comes out of everyone singing Neil Diamond on the coach yeah. on the way back. Yeah. But Brilliant. you're right, yeah. the, the players were lost. So Gibson does his hernia, doesn't he? Um, Cassidy yeah. gets recalled by Wolves because Dean Saunders goes there as manager and wants to help Doncaster get promoted, so won't allow him to come back. Akprakpro does uh, his metatarsal and's never really yeah. the same. Bell Baggy isn't the same after being kicked off the pitch at Bournemouth in that 3-1 yeah. defeat. And the, the kind of talk from people I've spoke to in the know was that the club just didn't want to the, those at the very top of the club who were in charge of the money just didn't want the kind of hassle of trying to maintain Tranmere as a championship club and as a as as a coaching team and you'd have been close to Ronnie it must have been so frustrating knowing that it probably just needed one or two players to keep you in that top six and you'd have been fine yeah we would we would have been fine it, but especially like you know we, we like every staff are just like we want we want to get we want to do the best we possibly can. We want to get promoted. You know, that promotion is brilliant. You know, get even to the playoffs. But you just knew every time you asked for something, it, it was like a, a no. It's not like, oh, well, can we go this route? No, it was just like a straight no, not even a another route. You know, you could have like three or four different players, but obviously different packages, you know, it's just like, no, 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 no. Well, where do we go then? You know, we're losing players left, right and centre, you know, we're, we're losing staff and, you know, when, you know, I, I moved up in the air and I loved where I lived and, you know, it was, it was good people there, you know, and uh, you just knew thinking, right, what, what, what's really going on behind the scenes? Come on, someone needs to be a bit, bit honest with us now, thinking, well, what's going on? Because it's clearly something going on, and uh, you know, and and no one's really saying anything. 
Did, did you as a coach and staff get that, that impression that the club weren't that fussed mm. about going up? Um, yeah, yeah, you, you, yeah, yeah, definitely. Because because if they wanted to go up, they would have gone, right, what do we need? Mm. How can we replace him? Yeah, we can't just suddenly go and spend two or three thousand pounds a week or five grand a week on a player. Yeah, I understand that. But the, the, there are other ways to get around it. Like, you know, well, there's so-and-so here, you know, he's on this package or there, or we can get a loan in and, you know, there's deals to be done. They couldn't even do a deal, you know, even if it was a, you know, a thousand pound or 500 pound a week. It was, it was, there was nothing. Literally, your hands were tied. Which was a shame because there was a good atmosphere around the place, you know, on match days, everything else. You're thinking, God, it, it's it's the place is rocking, you know, it was a great group of lads, you know, going on. And then they believed. But but then obviously, like when you mentioned about the injuries, you know, it, it was there were big losses. And and that and that's the difference between having, you know, a good team and 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 a good team, and we had a good team, a good squad, but but the, the, that it's got to be a great squad. Like you know, that's everything because whatever you take on, whatever you, whatever your subs are, your subs are, are really important, very important because the replacement's gone. They just finished the game off for you, or help you to get a point, or help you to win the game. You know, and uh, you know the club at the time wasn't investing, so it was clearly something behind the scenes what was going to happen you know which which they were looking to sell